Le Kite Borfukin was a commander and Borfukin in the Ahom Kingdom known for his leadership in the 1671 Battle of Seregat that thwarted a drawn-out attempt by Mughal forces under the command of Ram Singh I to take back Kamrup. He died about a year later due to illness. Brief Life Lakite Borfukan was the son of Momitamuli Borburua, the first Borburua under Pratip Singhar. Lakite Borfukan was educated in humanities, scriptures and military skills. He was given positions of responsibility of the Saladara Barua of the Aahom Swargadeo, a position equivalent to a private secretaryship which was regarded as the first step in career of an ambitious diplomat and politician. Other offices held by Lakite before his appointment as Borfukin included Superintendent of the Stable of Royal Horses, Commander of the Strategic Simul Garfort and Superintendent of the Royal Household Guards or to the Ahom King Chakradwaj Singhar. King Chakradwaj Singhar selected Lakite Borfuk and lead the army in the campaign against the Mughals who held Guwahati. The king presented Lakite with a gold hafted sword and the customary paraphernalia of distinction. Lakite raised the army and preparations were completed by summer of 1667. Lakite recovered Guwahati from the Mughals and successfully defended it against the Mughal forces during the Battle of Seregat. Lakite Borfukin died about a year after the victory at Seregat due to natural causes. His remains lies in rest at the Lakite made arm built in 1672 by Swargadeo Uday Adichi Singhar at Hulung Apara 16 km from Jorhat. There is no portrait of Lakite Barfukan, but an old chronicle describes him, saying, His face is broad, and resembles the moon in its full phase. No one is capable of staring at his face. Battle of Seregat After being defeated by Lakite and his forces, the Mughals army and sailed up the Brahmaputra River from Dhaka towards Assam advancing to Guwahati. The Mughal army under Ram Singh I consisted of 30,000 infantry, 15,000 archers, 18,000 Turkish cavalry. 5,000 gunners and over 1,000 cannons besides a large flotilla of boats. Ram Singh, the Mughal commander-in-chief failed to make any advance against the Assamese army during the first phase of the war. An arrow carrying a letter by Ram Singh telling that Lakite had been paid rupees 1 lakh and he should evacuate Guwahati was fired into the Ahom camp which eventually reached the Ahom king, Chakridwaj Singhar. Although the king started to doubt Lakit's sincerity and patriotism, his prime minister Atan Borigo Hine convinced the king this was just a trick against Lakite. During the last stage of the Battle of Seregat, when the Mughals attacked by the river in Seregat, the Assamese soldiers began to lose their will to fight. Some elements retreated. Though Lakite was seriously ill he boarded a boat and with seven boats advanced against the Mughal fleet. He said, if you want to flee, flee. The king has given me a task here and I will do it well. Let the Mughals take me away. You report to the king that his general fought well following his orders. His soldiers rallied in a desperate battle and shored on the river Brahmaputra. Lakite Barfukan was victorious. The Mughals were forced to retreat from Guwahati. The Mughal commander-in-chief, acknowledging his defeat by the Ahom soldiers and the commander-in-chief Lakite Barfukan, wrote, Glory to the king, glory to the councillors, glory to the commanders, glory to the country. One single individual leads all the forces. Even I, Ram Singh, being personally on the spot, have not been able to find any loophole and an opportunity, memorial and monuments. Lakai Divas On 24 November each year Lakai Divas is celebrated statewide in Assam to commemorate the heroism of Lakai Borfukan and the victory of the Assamese army at the Battle of Seregat. Lakai Borfukan Gold Medal The best passing out cadet of National Defense Academy is conferred the Lakai Borfukan Gold Medal. It was instituted by the Assam government in May 2000 to perpetuate the memory of Lakai Borfukan. 
Battalion Cadet Adjutant Arditier Udipa, 126th NDA course, was awarded the medal for the spring term 2014 on 28 May 2014. Le Kite Borfoukens Maidem Le Kite Borfoukens Maidem was constructed in memory of Le Kite Borfouken at Gohine Gown of Meleng Hulung Apa, Jorhat, Assam. It is 8 kilometers far from the famous Hulinga Pargibbon Sanctuary. Here last remains of Borfukin were laid under this tomb constructed by Swargade Oude Adichie Singer in 1672. Gallery. Lakite Bowen inside Lakite Maidam. Lakite Barfukin's Maidam at Hulung Apara, Jorhat. Statue of Lakite Borfukin at National Defense Academy, Kadakwasla. Lakite Borfukin's statue near Church Field, Tezpa.